Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we are checking out, this is the Crucial X8. This is the top of the range SSD upgrade up to two terabytes of storage. Look at that, 1,050 megabytes a second. And like it says, store with confidence, save and load files faster. It is a weighty, nice, chunky drive. So previously I checked out the X6. Now this guy, as you can see, is four terabytes, but it's smaller and it's also lighter. This is a bit heavier, but the idea with this guy, the X8, is that it goes slightly faster, but it has more endurance. So you're gonna get more terabytes written on this guy. So what is going on with this drive? Well, in case you haven't guessed it, this is a higher quality SSD. It travels faster, goes reading and writing faster up to 1050. That's mainly constrained purely to the bandwidth you're using USB 3.2 and it has more endurance, so you can do more reads and writes, transferring all your files. Basically, it's gonna last longer, but I wanna see how it performs. So just like last time, I'm gonna first do my first test by plugging it in to my USB-A hub. Now this is a 3.0 hub, so we should be getting good performance, and let's see how it performs. So I'm gonna load up Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, go. So yeah, I'm running it through a hub, and I'm not getting the performance. Just a quick update, so I did manage to get it working using USB-A on this dock. I'm not sure why, I think it might have been the cable. Try a different cable. And now I'm pumping through pretty much half the speed that you get if you plug in via USB-C. So that is still good and you get to use USB-A and you get some nice speeds that way. So I'll just quickly unplug it there and just plug it in natively to get raw performance. I did that test purely just to let you guys know if you are getting slower than advertised speeds, it might be due to your accessories, not the actual device itself. So I'm gonna plug it into the Mac directly. So we're getting 845 megabytes a second writing, and this is a five gigabyte file we are transferring over and reading 870 megabytes a second. Now also gonna just transfer over some files and do a longer endurance test. And it's estimated to do this transfer in three minutes. And we can see right here that it is copying over at 650 megabytes a second. And what you want to look out for is to see if there's any performance drop. All right, the transfer is now complete. I'm seeing the performance. It was always over 600. In fact, it shot up to 700 plus consistently. The transfer took about three minutes. Transfer over 130 gigabytes worth of data. Next up, I'm jumping into this mark and I want to see how good the sequential read and writes, and that's the easy stuff like video files and the random access, that's like loading an application, you gotta get lots of different files. All right, so the tests are in, you get in between 15 and 40 random reads and writes. So comparing that to the X6, that went from five to 30. So like I said before, writing is faster on the X8 compared to the X6. Obviously, it's not as fast as an NVMe, like this fella here, the P5 Plus, that guy is gonna have the ultimate performance. You're gonna have performance in the MacBook Pro itself. But if you're looking at portable performance, just look at this. I can just unplug it and take it to my next computer. One more practical test I wanna test out is Final Cut Pro caching. So I have a four terabyte MacBook Pro and I am running out of space because the cache files in Final Cut Pro, the rendering out in some of my projects take over a terabyte over a terabyte. So I wanna see how the X8 performs. Yep, performance is good compared to even the MacBook Pro itself. So that was the Crucial X8 two terabyte edition. Hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. One more thing actually, I forgot to mention, this can be dropped officially according to the specs from seven feet. Seven feet drop tests. I wouldn't do it, I'm not gonna test it myself, but back in the day, I remember the mechanical hard drives, those guys, you just, you look at them the wrong way and they'd break. So one more thing about this drive, the endurance, like dropping it, it should last a lot longer than the older drives. I actually dropped it for real. I wonder if it works. Let's just see. Hey, survived the drop test. What's up? <laughs>